It's the 29th of May, 2016, and it's a usual Sunday. Nothing really planned, so just going to carry on. Guys, I'm going to be honest, nothing exciting is going on at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> but in this case, it was a good thing. I was so busy this week that it would be nice just to have this weekend, just to, or this Sunday, just to be off. If you ever want to complain how loud the thing is in the background in the camper, check out the AC noise here. Man. Anyway, I'm in here because Mom wants to take a DVD of my little cousin's graduation here. Or, not graduation. And it was a first grade award ceremony or something. It's, it's her getting ready to go into second grade. Anyway, she wants me to copy it, so I'm going to show her how to do that. And then, actually, if I'm not mistaken, tonight, at around 8 o'clock, after all our other normal shows go off, ABC's resurrecting a few things tonight. If I'm not mistaken, tonight's the night where they do celebrity... Um, family Feud. They've been doing that forever. But Match Game and Pyramid are back. Hmm. Michael Strahan will not be doing his job properly on Pyramid unless after at the Pyramid part that they don't get it right, he goes up and goes, here's what you could have been doing. It was always kind of mean to Dick Clark. It was like, here's the type of idiot that you are now. Do you think you could have thought of these? Huh? Do you? In Match Game. I hold Match Game dear, especially a huge Dick DiBartolo fan I am. Which, by the way, if they don't get him back for that, they are making a mistake. For any of you that don't know, Dick DiBartolo is the Gizwiz online, but he's also Mad's Maddest Writer. He has had a thing in Mad for 50 years. And by, and by thing, I mean that at least for 50 years, he has always had something in the magazine, without fail. He started when he was still really young, actually. Um, but point is that he was the one that saved the match game because the match game was originally just a generic match well uh, something blank you know and you had to match with the celebrities like always actually i think it was you were paired with a celebrity and then you both had to match anyway point is that it was a really generic game well, it was getting ready to get canceled and then here comes dick Bartolo and says i'm tired of writing these generic ones can i just write something silly Goodman, the producer, you've heard his name plenty of times on game shows. He said, oh, why the heck not? We're getting canceled anyway. It's not like they can do anything worse to us. And the miraculous happened. As soon as they started doing the whole thing, the show got saved. <laughs> so yeah, Dick DiBartolo saved the match game. So if they don't at least bring him back to write some questions or do something with it, then yeah. <sighs> Old man, even though I'm 26, rant over. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is a bit unexpected. Um, okay. Hail Hydra? Mm -hmm. So on a lark, I decided to boot Pokemon Y up. Hadn't finished it yet. Yeah, I know. Way behind. I had almost forgotten about that butt-clenching moment when you're trying to catch the legendary that's in the game and you use that Ultra Ball and it almost doesn't catch it. You just stare at the Pokeball as it twitches and twitches and twitches until finally it goes, Okay, you can breathe now. 